Ernie Zachary. Ernie Zachary. Zachary. E. Zachary. Zachra. Zachary. 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 Ernie Zachary. Okay, I think I've got it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Patreon and I'll put the handles down below. And over there, over there, on the screen, over there, over there, over there. That was like four different keys. <laughs> I think. Ugh. So if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, then you have access to early reactions, you've got access to become a reaction, you can fast track reactions if you really want to see something, um, and just get to know me a little better as a person, because I'm a human. I'm a human being in Scotland. So uh, join the party and help shape my channel. Okay, so the pressure to do this one has been absolutely immense. Like crazy. I don't think I've seen um, this many comments firing uh, for one specific performance before. Um, so I'm just go I'm, I'm going to do it. Usually I wouldn't return to somebody this quickly, um, especially seeing as it's the same song, but everybody wants to see it. So here we go. We are going to listen to Ernie Zachary. I said it right. <laughs> And um, she's doing Kuber Swara at AJL34, which I think is like an award ceremony or something. Um, so we are going to just go right ahead and watch that. Yeah! Wow. <laughs> What an opener! Wow! So, what did we hear? We heard a little bit of cry on some of the phrases. There was like a wee kind of cry on there. But then when she pulled up into kind of her higher register, she went kind of like up, up, full kind of chesty mix, heady mix, and then kind of flipped over into falsetto, but it was still so strong. Just... Oh, this woman blows my mind. Let's keep going. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. Th this video is just going to be going, wow. So the first verse here, I'm liking how she is managing to blend like strong vocals and delicate vocals together. So she'll, the start will be strong and then it will kind of just blend into this really soft kind of floaty aspirate sound. So like, let me see. And there's like that little kind of turn and it and it's a proper like blend from a, a stronger kind of more fuller sound into a lighter sound connected the whole way through. Just she's such a good singer. And then that last note she did there was just fantastic as well. You could just see everything opening up. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. 
what? That run that she did at the end there was really tasty. It just was so light and gentle and very well controlled. What were the notes? It's like... Something like that. Um, and it went from an ah to an ooh. So the, the whole kind of dynamic of that sound changed towards the end as well. So not only did it go from like a higher note to a lower note, it went from like an open sound to a more closed sound. She's just very clever with um, her, her her entire vocals. She just knows exactly what she's doing. Anyway, very, very good. I like the chorus this time as well because I could hear her singing it in the last video. Um, the backing track was way too loud and I couldn't really hear what she was doing. It's just a nice, strong, very well placed um, vocal in the chorus it, that seems to be entirely in kind of a mix and she's perfectly comfortable there. You, it's almost relaxing um, because you just know that you're in safe hands with her. Anyway, let's keep going. Did you want to Yes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this is incredible. So this kind of knocks spots off of her last performance. It's just taken to another level. Um, so when that outfit kind of got ripped off and she's got something else underneath it, um, I didn't want to say anything at the time, but I thought it did look like a massive, massive dress. Figured there might be something hiding under it, but if it was some kind of like traditional Malaysian outfit, I wasn't I wasn't going there. I wasn't <laughs> gonna say that looks a bit odd. <laughs> Be getting absolutely hounded. So we've moved into a kind of a higher key now and a lot of where she would stay in a mix is now pushed up into more of a falsetto. Um, I'm not saying head voice because it doesn't have as much of a ring. So the folds are definitely kind of tilting and it's a lot airier, but it's still really strong, it's really hooty. This, this, pff, I have no words. I have no words. Now, she's just done something here that I have mentioned before, but in case you've not seen all my old videos, I'll mention it again. She's taken out one of her in-ear monitors, just like I did there. Now, why has she done that? So, short explanation is your in-ear monitors basically feed back what you are doing to you. So, um, she'll have, she'll probably have the music in her ear as well, but it will be reduced and it'll be focused on her voice. So she'll be hearing about maybe 70% her vocal, 30% track, so she can follow it. Um, but it's very, I mean, they're called isolating earphones, and it is very isolating. You kind of, um, 
can build up quite a lot of kind of sound pressure in your head almost and it can become a little bit jarring so what lots of singers tend to do i do it when i'm on stage as well and i'm using in-ears is take one out and what that does is it kind of lets the the ambience of the room come back in she can hear what's coming at the speakers so she can still kind of hear herself but in a better blend with the music so she'll be able to kind of just feel it a little bit more, if that makes sense. It's, there can be quite an unfeeling um, sensation when you're singing with your in-ears in and um, you know, you're singing to a really quiet track but you're like absolutely blasting. So she's probably done it for that reason so that she can just pick up a little bit more of the room. Sorry if that was a hugely long explanation but yeah, you might not have known. Oh. I'd be standing too. Did you see she kind of had a little bit of a teary eye at the end there? So she obviously gave that 110%. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, we heard it, we've got ears. But the emotion really carried through her performance. And you can see she's just like, like, I did it. I did it. Amazing job. Absolutely fantastic. She has got one of the strongest and most well-controlled voices I've heard in a long, long time. So Ernie Zachary, A, I apologise for getting your name wrong in the last video about 200 billion times, and B, just come over to Glasgow and sing for me. <laughs> or I'll come to Malaysia, like, let's just make it happen. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, then give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, then hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me, and I have absolutely no idea how to get by this one. The video's done, it's time to move on, so I must say goodbye. Let's stop there. Bye.